and my thoughts are not at peace. Wrestling has been my theme since day one, and the result I see myself in bricks. It's always me this, me that, and the other, and a guile is found in me. Plots of dismantling innocent hearts, and laughter when someone is declared a failure. It's me thinking that if I hate a person, God also does the same. He is not a criminal. What a man says drunk, thinks sober. When situations are tense, then the real me is shown, not this baby face you admire. Battles of inside, worse than Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Real wars fighting for principles, overcoming this body which takes me down. Leading a donkey to the water and forcing it also to drink. And being like a fish out of the river. This is a rabid hole indeed. A chameleon that wants to survive a burning bush must abandon the majestic walk of his ancestors. It takes courage to completely tear down the greatest enemy, which is me, living a life of remorse. I hate you, Nathan. Arrayed with hatred and evil ambitions that I try to polish up and lie to myself, thinking that God will be part and parcel of it. Spiritual dextromania. Whenever you hear the word repent, nothing triggers in my heart. A stony heart full of hypocrisy and embracing the evil deeds. Prayer with sincerity is now a history. Technocracy taking over the neology network. I hate you, Nathan. I just hate you. The things that I do, I'm actually forcing myself and inviting the bottom spirits. Yet the result is always me being in sorrow at the end. Sins which dig lifetime scars that will hunt me the rest of my life. This is my mind's desire. Why are you doing this, Nathan? Why, Nathan? I have to overcome you definitely. Broken pieces is all I got, and I'm a broken system which hold no water. A clay trying to control the potter. Nathan, you can't make yourself right. Things of this world is becoming a daily feast, and the repentance is now a museum.